Let me ask you something, Chloe. You have an extra room in your house, don't you? Why are you asking that all of a sudden, Ambrosia? I have the right to ask you whatever I want to know, so just listen to me. I'm asking whether you have an extra room in your house. Well, I don't know if you can call it an extra room, but there's a room we don't use. But right now, it's for Patrick's hobbies. Hobbies? He's still doing childish things, isn't he? Oh my god. It doesn't matter at all. Guitar is the only thing Patrick enjoys. I think it's a much nicer hobby than gambling. I love to listen when he's playing guitar. Guitar is a child's musical instrument, right? If he's an adult man, he should at least learn to gamble. You're the one who prevented him from doing that, aren't you? You do a lot of unnecessary things. I didn't interfere in any way. Patrick is a reserved and smart man. I'd rather leave him alone with his hobbies. He can't stop playing childish games because you're working outside the house. Do something about it. I told Patrick that I don't want to be a housewife anyway, and he said that he's fine with that. You haven't been able to satisfy him at night either, have you? I don't think so. I'm trying my best. When I was young, I didn't let my husband sleep every night. You have to work that hard. I'm sorry to tell you, but I don't want to imagine too much about what you did in the past. Patrick was born because me and my husband were working hard all night. That's the fact. That's true, but... That's why I don't want to imagine about the details. I think it's a little vulgar for you to say that to me. Vulgar? You need to be educated. It's a very important task for a wife. I'm already educated. It's an important education. I'll be there next week. What are you going to do? You don't have to come all the way here just to teach me that. What are you talking about? I told you that it's for your education. Clean up the extra room you have. Jeez, you can't just say that out of the blue. I'm saying that I'll move in with you and Patrick. No kidding. Are you suffering from dementia? But you're only 61 years old. I'm not suffering from dementia. Don't be rude. Starting next week, I'll be living with you guys. I didn't hear anything about that. Did you tell Patrick? I bet that boy will be so happy because he can live with his mother. It's been a long time since the last time we lived together. I knew it. You didn't tell Patrick, did you? I don't have to tell him. It's natural for children to take care of their parents. In the first place, you are currently living with Patrick's elder brother, right? Why don't you just stay there? That's right. But everything has to be equal. That's why I'm going over there. My apartment is for a two-person household. You can't live with us since it'll be cramped. But you have an extra room, right? It's Patrick's hobby room. There's no other room we can put you in. Then why don't you just throw his stuff away? I'm more important than his stuff, right? I can't do that. They're all very important to him. He doesn't need those toys. Maybe I can teach him how to play with the slot machine. He has to do something that other adult men often do. Please don't teach him anything weird. It's been decided then. I'm gonna live together with both of you. It's not decided yet. I'm only moving with you because you're a bad wife who needs to be educated. You should thank me for that. No one asked you to educate me. I said I'd put up with your cramped apartment, so what's your problem? You're being selfish. I'm dissatisfied with everything. It's unreasonable. It's already decided. I'm going over there next week. Anyway, I'll talk it over with Patrick tonight. I talked it over with Patrick yesterday. He was happy, wasn't he? Of course he's happy to live with his mother. He said it's impossible to have you live here. 
How could he say that? Besides, you kicked him out of your house, didn't you? You told him to get out since your eldest son and his wife were moving in. That's terrible. I wonder why you are expecting Patrick to let you live with us after what you did to him. I didn't remember anything about kicking Patrick out of my house. He's always been treated coldly because he's the second son, and he felt unwanted most of the time. I heard about this before we got married, so there's no way that he wants to live with you, Ambrosia. That's why I'm going to stay with him from now on. This is my way of atonement. I'm trying to tell you honestly that he doesn't want to be involved with you. If you care about Patrick, just leave him alone. Hey, wait a minute. You're the one who persuaded him to say that, right? Just because you don't want to live with me? To be honest, I don't want to live together with you. I knew it. You definitely have persuaded him to refuse my offer of staying with both of you. Patrick doesn't like it more than I do. Enough with the lies! If you think I'm lying, why don't you ask him directly? I've been texting him, but I don't know why he hasn't even read my messages. Maybe he's busy with work? Oh, I think he blocked your number. What? How dare he block his own mother? I'm very sorry, but that's how much he hates you. You are behind all of this, aren't you? Brainwashing my son who was so kind to you? I can't forgive you. You're a really bad wife. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't even persuade Patrick. I can't believe you don't even have any gratitude for your parents. I'm going to educate both of you at this point. Speaking of education, I heard that you didn't pay for his tuition fee just because he's the second son. While his elder brother went to a private high school and then a private university, Patrick went to a regular high school while working part-time job and graduated from University Wood Scholarship. I admire how tough he was that he could manage all of that, but I wonder why he should be thankful to you. You didn't even give him enough support. I forgot that long time ago. He's such a horrible person to hold on to a grudge like that forever. I don't care about that. Hurry up and let me live together with you both. I don't care what you think, but you're not moving in with us. It's been decided. I've already packed my stuff. It'll be delivered there the day after tomorrow. What? You already sent it? I told you not to decide on your own, didn't I? Please pick up my stuff. I'll be there next week. Don't forget to clean up the extra room. Wait, Ambrosia, listen to me, please. I'm not listening to you. You and Patrick are the ones who must listen to me. Wait and see. I'm going to educate you both properly. Chloe, I'm here for you. Hurry up and unlock the door. I put the key in the mailbox. Please take them yourself. Oh, are you out? Shopping? Are you planning to hold a welcome party for me? Of course not. You can have your own party or whatever you want. What? Why don't you have any luggage here? You have your own luggage, right? Well, yes, but how can I live in an empty room? You told me to clean up, didn't you? I did as you told me. You did it too much. Are you trying to bully me? Just come back home right away. We won't do that. I can't talk to you anymore. When is Patrick coming home? I'll talk to him. Patrick won't come home either. That's impossible. You can't just lie to me like that. I won't allow you to do so. Patrick and I are both at home. But none of you are here. I'm at your house right now. We'll give you that house. Huh? Oh, I accidentally forgot to tell you that we've moved out. I'm sorry for being a bad wife who doesn't even care to inform you about that in advance. Are you trying to scare me? If you really moved out, why are the keys here? There's no way you'd leave the keys behind. 
It's like asking a burglar to come in. You're supposed to return the key when you move out, right? Don't be silly. Come back home right away. The contract is until next month. If you're going to live there from now on, you need to sign a new contract. I'm counting on you, Ambrosia. Are you serious? Don't tell me that you really moved out. I'm telling you the truth. We've built our dream home. We were supposed to move in next month, but we changed the schedule because you are coming. Wow! What a surprise! You built a duplex for me? That's very sweet of you. So, where's your new house? I'll be right there. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm not going to tell you that. It's our new place, right? You moved in early because I'm coming, didn't you? You must have misunderstood something. We moved here to cut ties with you. What did you say? We want to cut ties with you, Ambrosia. You think you can do that? I won't allow it. It's an easy thing to do for us. We will live happily as before as a married couple. I'm in trouble! Why are you in trouble? You were kicked out from your house, weren't you? That's not true! Why would I be kicked out? Don't say random things. You were always bullying your eldest son's wife, weren't you? Then he and your husband found out about that. There's no such thing as bullying. That was an education for my eldest son's wife. I did what I was supposed to do. Education? That was a close call. I could have been bullied by you too. You don't seem to understand the difference between education and sniveling. That is a lie. It's not my fault. Besides, your eldest son's wife also found out that you were making debts from the casino, didn't she? I'm glad you didn't teach Patrick to gamble. If he'd created debts, we'd have gone bankrupt. It's just a way for housewives to relax. Gambling is an exaggeration. You went into a debt that ate up all of your retirement savings just for a little relaxation? Isn't that too much? I don't need to save for retirement. It's the duty of children to take care of their parents at that time. That's the way it's always been. Do you have any children who will take care of you? Of course, it's Patrick and you. You can't be serious. I'm a stranger, and Patrick said that he's cutting ties with you. What? Don't say that. What should I do for my retirement then? That's none of my business. Anyway, I'll block your number from now on. Goodbye. Hold it right there. I have nowhere to go. If you move in with me, I'll take care of all the housework. You're all I have left. If you can't live with me, at least send me some money. Please, help me. Chloe, read my messages. After that, my mother-in-law went back to her family house and apologized desperately. She managed to get my father-in-law and brother-in-law to forgive her. I really admire how generous my father-in-law and brother-in-law are. I thought that the matter had been settled, but within a few months, the bad bug was stirring again. Ambrosia started bullying her eldest son's wife again under the guise of education. Soon after, my father-in-law and brother-in-law found out about that, and this time, they decided to cut ties with her. My mother-in-law is a real hard learner. After that, she came to my parents' house and started screaming at them to tell her where we were, and she ended up in police custody. I guess people who can't help themselves will never change, even when they are in a difficult situation. On the other hand, Patrick and I are living happily in our newly built house. You're awesome. I admire you so much. It's amazing how you can put up with what mom has told you. You're so tough. I got a lot of scolding this morning. I know about that. It's so hilarious to see how mom bullies you. You didn't even care to help me today, Damien. Just as you always do. That means you are bullying me too. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I gotta get out of the house. I'm gonna be late for work. Wait, Damien. Can you at least say something to your mother to stop bullying me? You're my husband, aren't you? What are you talking about? You're always so cool about it. You're an idiot with zero pride, so you don't feel anything. What do you want me to say to her? I can't believe you just said things like that. You hurt my feelings. I'm not an idiot. I don't see it that way. Mom wasn't that bad at first. But since you didn't show her the reaction she wanted to see, she thought it was boring. That's why her bullying is starting to get worse than before. Is that so? So that's why she's been hard on me lately? Mom has turned a little emotional recently. She even started to beat you, didn't she? Why don't you do something about that? What do you mean? If she grabs you by the hair, just grab her back or slap her on the cheek. Stop it. I don't want to be in the same position with your mother. What did you say? Are you making fun of mom? I'm not making fun of her, but I think she's a jerk. She began to treat me badly as soon as we started living together. Was she treating your ex-wife in the same way too? I don't know. I don't remember every single detail about my ex. I've forgotten about the past. I used to wonder why you got divorced. Now I think I understand why. Oh, come on. Don't say that just because I didn't protect you today. It's crazy that you can smile when your own wife is being bullied. I don't feel even an ounce of affection from you. Don't whine about it. Women are as annoying as hell. I don't want dinner tonight. Again? You said the same thing yesterday. Are you that busy with work? I don't feel like coming home after listening to you complain. If you're my wife, you should know that. We've only been married for two months. I still don't know much about you. In those two months, mom already hates you. It's going to be tough to live from now on. I couldn't care less about what other people say. You don't understand. We're family, not strangers. So you won't get away with it so easily. You're really dull, aren't you? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? From now on, mom's going to start jerking you around more. She's going to treat you like a slave. And even if you want a divorce, she won't let you. Seriously? I feel like I'm married to your mother than to you, Damien. I have nothing more to say. You talk about me as if I were some sort of stranger. Forget it. I have to go to work anyway. Hey, I thought you quit your job. I was thinking to quit my job, but I decided not to. Your mom will bully me if I stay at home. It's much easier for me to work outside the house. I knew it. You have zero pride. You can't just quit your work. What an easygoing woman. It's better than staying home. My dad doesn't even want to look at you. That's not true. Your father... It's nothing. Forget about that. I'm Lucy, and I'm 28 years old. I've been married for two months now to Damien, whom I've been dating for two years. He's two years older than me. I liked him because he was a little childish, and he's also a funny guy. But after living with him, I found out that he is a person without a trace of compassion. He is just too childish and very hard to keep up with. As you can see from the messages, his mother is also childish. I've heard stories about the relationship between wives and their mother-in-laws. I now understand that there are some people who look forward to bully the others. Every day is like a living hell. I wanted to leave the house right away, but without something decisive, I'm sure they won't let me leave. Stop wandering around, stupid! You really are useless! I need to go to work, Corvina. I'm surprised that you managed to find a job, though you're only as intelligent as a monkey. For your information, monkeys are very intelligent animals. If you want to mock me more, you might as well call me a chicken. Huh? 
Chickens forget things so easily since they don't have enough space in their brain to memorize. They're not smart at all. I'm not talking about chicken. Don't be silly. Oh, but I got curious and looked it up on the internet. And it actually says that chickens are smart. I wonder if that's true. Hey, I've been thinking. I know that there's something wrong with you. Why do you think so? You are capable to fight me back even though I'm being rude to you. Do you even have a human heart? Don't tell me you're a cold-blooded person. That's my question to you. If you have a human heart, you wouldn't think of harassing people. No, that's wrong. It's because you're human. You have a bad heart that won't be satisfied until you bully someone. What are you mumbling about? It's disgusting! Sorry about that. I said to Damien that he can get married to anyone he wants because I can get a free housekeeper. But I can't believe such a freak like you came to be his wife. He really sucks. You suggested Damien to marry me? Yes! Damien isn't interested in marriage at all. I guess so. He doesn't seem to be interested in me. I was so disappointed. Maybe you're not interested in Damien either. Didn't you marry him just for our fortune? No way. I know I seem calm, but I really love Damien. I'm sad that he's no longer interested in me. Oh, I've finally got your weak spot. I've got some great information for you, but I can't tell you this yet. What is it? I'm curious. If I tell you this, you'll get angry with me. Instead, I'll tell you something else. Just tell me, okay? Check your wallet. What? Oh no, my credit card is missing. I must have dropped it somewhere. You're an idiot that you didn't notice until now. Well, I knew it from the beginning that you were an idiot, but... Did you take it? That's terrible. I spent a lot with your credit card. I finally got the $2,000 facial equipment I've always wanted. I didn't know you're interested in beauty-related equipment. What did you say? There are things you can say and things you can't. No matter how beautiful your face is, no one wants to get near you because you have such a dirty heart. You can't become an attractive woman forever. That's not all. Don't be surprised when you see the amount of money I spent. Wow, $12,000. That's a lot of money. I couldn't buy what I wanted because you've been so reluctant to give me money lately. I didn't realize that. Anyway, Damien hasn't been able to save any money at all too. I thought it's because you were spending all of them. No, I'm spending it on something else. I see. I've spent $12,000 on your credit card, and you still seem to have plenty of money left over. I'm curious about that. Don't worry. No matter what happens, I'll keep smiling. If you forget to smile, it's the end of your life. Then, I'll drop another bomb. Those expensive-looking bags and clothes in your room? I gave them to a friend. Oh, really? How's that? Now you can't fight me back, can you? You said that you gave them to your friend. I didn't know that you have a friend who could wear the clothes of my size and use my bags. They're for young people, so I don't think she'll fit. Shut up! What's the matter with you? You should be panicked after what I've done to you. Because I'm going to get it all back anyway. I feel better if I just laugh at you. I'm not going to pay you back. Who do you think I am? Don't think you can defy me. But even you can't go against the police, can you? That's true, but I didn't do anything wrong. You said it yourself just now, that you stole some things from me. You confessed, didn't you? You're really stupid. I'm your family, so it wouldn't be a crime. What kind of idiot are you? We are not blood-related. Even if we're not blood-related, you're married to Damien. That means we're family. 
I'm not married to Damien. No kidding! We haven't registered our marriage yet. Why? Because your husband warned me about everything. I decided to obey him. What did he say? You bullied Damien's ex-wife and made her divorce him. She felt sick because of your bullying. Your husband was worried that I might go through the same thing. He advised me to wait for a while before I register my marriage. He was right about everything. I can't believe he was saying that behind my back. That guy? He's a kind man, isn't he? So I'll follow his advice. I lied to Damien and told him that I already filed our marriage certificate. The truth is, I haven't done that. I'm truly grateful to your husband. Wait a minute. That makes me look bad, doesn't it? Well, you're guilty of theft. Don't be silly. I thought you wouldn't get mad at me no matter what I did. But this is how you trick me. I thought if I just bear with it, I'm sure that you'll stop bullying me eventually. I was afraid that you would do something nasty to me, so I always put a smile on my face. Your husband was right about you. Oh no, you just tricked me. I'll call the police immediately. Wait, I'll return the money little by little. I'll get the clothes and bags back from my friend. Just don't tell the police. I refuse. I can't let a criminal like you get away. I don't want you to repeat the same mistakes ever again. I'll be nice to you from now on. If the police put me into jail, Damien will be sad. So what? You don't care about Damien? I cared about him, but not anymore. Just don't let me get arrested. After all, it's for your own sake. No matter how many times you say it, my will remains the same. You're at home now, aren't you? I'll send the police right away. Why are you acting like a hypocrite? You're the one who's acting like a hypocrite. You're the villain here. Don't be silly at a time like this. I'm serious, Corvina. Many people call me a hypocrite, so I've been wanting to give them a good dressing down someday and looks like the time has come. Enough! I'll say what hurts you the most. Go ahead. Damien is having an affair with a beautiful woman and he prefers to be with that woman. Is that so? I don't know what to say. He spends all his money on her and that's why he's been coming home late nowadays. You know what? He doesn't love you at all. Thank you for the information. Now I can file for alimony too. You can't claim it because you're not married. I can, because we're still engaged. What? Seems that you've dug your own grave. What should I do? I'll get scolded by Damien. Don't worry. The police will arrest you before that happens. You're a god of misfortune. You even misled my husband. Well, if something happens again, your husband said that he'll divorce you. We've been together for 30 years and now he wants a divorce? I guess that's what happens when you become a criminal. If I were your husband, I'd do the same. I shouldn't have bullied you just for fun. Now, I've got to end my relationship with Damien. I can't wait to clear this matter. If I could turn back time, I would do so. The police went to my house on my report and arrested Corvina on the spot. She was sentenced to prison for theft. It was her own fault, so she had no choice. I told the police about everything that day, and I also told Damien that I would charge him alimony. Damien was mad because his mother told me about his affair. But actually, I had been aware of the affair before Corvina even told me about that. I wonder how it is possible that he did that right after we got married. It was sad, but I was prepared for it. Corvina was the person who gave me the proof, so I thank her for that. Corvina's husband decided to divorce her. I'm just starting my second life now. I'm glad that I took Corvina's husband's advice. 
I know it's hard to lose someone you once loved, but it's much better than living a life where you can't escape from being bullied every day by your own family member. When I reported to my workplace that I was no longer married, everyone was reserved at first. But when I told them about the main reason during the drinking party, they were all amused. I'm so glad that I had such a precious experience. I don't want to be in love for a while, so I'm going to concentrate on my job and work hard to improve myself. Hey, Marie. What are you doing? Do you have any idea how long it's been since I texted you? I can't believe it. How can you ignore your mother-in-law's messages? I'm sorry, Roseanne. I had a part-time job today, so I couldn't check my phone. How is it possible you didn't have a single moment to look at my messages? You could have at least checked during your break. It's been a very busy day, and I didn't have time to check on my phone even a little. Oh, well. About the dinner party this weekend, you can come, right? Eric's birthday is coming up soon. Did Keith tell you that we should celebrate it together? It's this Friday, right? Of course I can come. 6 p.m. Don't be late. Keith is gonna be working late that day, so he will be a little late. I don't blame him for being late, but it has nothing to do with you. We have a lot to do before the party, so make sure you come on time. I understand, but I was planning to come at the same time with him since he won't let me use the kitchen. Cooking isn't the only thing we need to do. There's a lot of things to do, like cleaning. Right, I'm sorry. We have Emily here at home. After all, the oldest son's wife is the one I can depend on. A wife who lives with us is the best. She learns how to cook food from me, and it's very delicious. I am sorry, but instead of living together, we send money to you every month. I would appreciate it if you would consider that a little more. I don't care if you send us money, but well, I don't think I could get along even if I lived with you. Maybe this is for the best. Personality-wise, I don't think we'd get along. Plus, you've been married for three years and you haven't shown me your child. We are not thinking about having kids yet. You're already 30, aren't you? What a careless thing to say. But Emily also had a child recently, didn't she? See, you always compare yourself with others. She and my son got married in their late age, so there's no choice. They got married in their mid-30s, so it's natural that they had children late. But you got married in your 20s. You're not perfect as a wife, and you make fun of her? I didn't intend to, but I apologize if I made you think so. I don't understand why Keith married someone like you. Even after Emily had a baby, you don't come to see her at all. Perhaps are you jealous of her? The reason I haven't visited her much is because she just gave birth and I didn't want her to worry about someone visiting her. Well, well... Hey, are you having fertility treatment? Those people don't want to see other people's children, right? Isn't that why you say you can't think about children? No, not like that. Well, whatever. I have my first grandchild, and I have a wife who lives with me. I don't care if I have one useless wife. At least spend your time out of our way, okay? Yes, I will be careful. You're only good at replying. You pretend to be obedient in front of me, but complains to Keith, don't you? He told me to be nice to you the other day. You're so mean. I didn't say anything. Then are you saying that he thought so and warned me? I wonder if being with you has made him crazy. Anyway, if you haven't said anything, don't say anything unnecessary from no one as well. Be careful not to make me hate you anymore. I understand. I'm gonna invite my son's defective wife over to dinner. So you should be more grateful for my kindness. Murray, what are you doing? Everyone is having dinner and why are you out? I'm at the supermarket. I'll be home soon. 
Supermarket? Did they ask you to buy something? No, they didn't have any food for me, so I was told to go and get it myself. Seriously, I can't believe it. I'm gonna complain to mom and dad. Wait, it's your father's birthday, and I'm fine. But... I'm almost there, and I just have to be patient for a few more hours. I'm fine. It's not good to put up with it. They invited you to dinner, but they won't let you eat? That's ridiculous. I thought they finally accepted you. But talking about it now won't solve anything. It will be a happy reunion without me. This is not fun at all. How can you enjoy yourself when your own wife is being harassed? Thank you, but they don't like me. It's sad, but no choice. Wait. What's wrong? I can't open the door. I guess your mother locked me out. Oh, she just texted me now. She's saying I should eat out. Hey, you should go back home. You don't have to come to this house. This is too awful. But if I do so? It's okay. Thanks for putting up for me. Are you sure it's okay? I heard a loud noise coming from the house. It's okay. It's over. I'm taking a cab home now. You're home already, right? Yeah, I'm home. Keith, are you okay? I'm fine. I regret that I should have made action earlier. I was relying on you too much, I'm sorry. I thought mom might change. I'm fine. But what do you mean it's over? I just scolded everyone. You scolded? it? So it was you? That loud voice? I suddenly heard a loud voice from the house, so I was surprised. I was so angry at the time. But it was their fault for making me angry. Anyway, I told my parents not to contact us again. Everyone had been nice to you. Was it okay to do that far? Like I said before, I don't want to get involved with people who mistreat my wife. It was mom who was mistreating you. But dad and my brother and his wife were also laughing so they are crazy. How can they be laughing when they are hurting my precious wife? I'm sorry. Everything's because your mother doesn't like me so. I even refused to move in with them. I wasn't planning to live together with them either. It's not your fault. But they're saying like it's your fault. You thought that much of me? To be honest, it was really painful. But I thought if I did my best so that everyone would like me. You don't have to put up with it anymore. You don't have to try to butter her up. You're the best as you are. Thank you. Also, you don't have to send them money anymore. Even if they can't make ends meet, it has nothing to do with this. From now on, use the money for whatever you want or for savings. I wonder if they will be okay. Mom and dad are living with my brother's family, so there should be no problem. I mean, I should have stopped when they decided to live with them in the first place. I'm glad you chose me. Of course, there's nothing more important than you. I'm glad you're my husband. You always think about me. You've given your mother all kinds of warnings, right? Yeah, even if I told her, she won't change though. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you at all. Still, I was glad. From no one, I'll protect you. Oh, hey, we're gonna stop sending money, which means we will have more money. So let's build a house. Are you sure you're okay with deciding to build a house so easily? We've been talking about it for a while, and it's a good new start, isn't it? Well, I guess a nice chance. Then let's do it. Let's go to a show home and check things out. Also, I didn't eat any food. Do we have anything at home? That's what I thought. So I'm cooking right now. Let's have dinner together. Thank you. Our home is the best place. I love your dishes. Murray? Why aren't you guys home? Oh, Roseanne? I'm sorry, I know we promised I would never contact you guys again. It's an emergency, so I had to reach you. I actually tried to call Keith, but he seems to have blocked us. I'm sorry, but please do not contact us again. 
I've been told by Keith not to talk to you. I'm sorry. Bye. Wait, it's an emergency. Please, put Keith on the phone. Keith is taking a bath right now, so I can't. Taking a bath? Where are you taking a bath when you're not at home? We built a house and moved out. That's why you're not at home, even though on weekends. Did you go to our old house? I don't have anyone to rely on but you guys. What do you mean? Well, things are really bad at home right now. You stopped sending us money, and we couldn't live by our pensions. So we're having a very miserable life. Even if we stopped sending you money, you still live with your son's family, right? Is it possible that you will not be able to make a living? Actually, our son has a lot of debt. It seems like he was using your money to pay off his debts in secret. But since you stopped sending it, most of his income has gone to pay off his debt. So we've been living on our pension, but it's not enough for four adults to live on. I see. But, well, it has nothing to do with us, so you all do your best. Murray, we're really in trouble, and you're abandoning us? How can you ask me when you've been harassing me all this time? I don't understand at all. It's true that I refuse to live with you, but I have tried to support you as much as I could. I'm sorry about that. I thought you didn't like us because you wouldn't move in with us. That's why I was mean to you. I was very hurt. When we talked about getting married, we had decided that Keith and I would not live with each other's parents. Keith also explained it to you, didn't he? He explained it to us, but we were sad. We thought you were gonna come to our house. I hope you could understand our feelings a little. I refused to live with you, so I guess it's natural to feel that I hated you. But that doesn't mean you can harass me. I told you I didn't mean to. Even though you didn't mean to, the fact that you harassed me won't change. I have no intention of helping you guys. Don't say like that, please. Mary, please, can't you at least talk to Keith? No matter how many times you ask me, I can't. Things have gotten worse than before. Emily has started working part-time because we don't have enough money. And because of that, she has started to verbally abuse us. My son borrowed money to try to make more money at casino, and his debts increased even more. Because of it, they're not getting along well with each other, and the atmosphere in the house is terrible. Please, I will do anything, so please help us. I don't want to stay in the house even for a second. The situation is worse than I thought. Keith is also looking at our conversation. And he's saying that this is so bad that we should help you. Really? If you forgive me for what I've done and help me, I'll take any conditions you have. Well, then, we're living in a new house now, but it's not big enough to live with you guys. So can you give us the money to renovate it into a duplex house? We can afford that. We were planning to run away with the minimum belongings, and we can prepare the money by selling unnecessary things. I see. Then our house is not that big, but you can come for the time being. I know it will be hard for you to stay in your house until the renovation is completed. Thank you, Murray. From now on, I'll be on your side no matter what. What about your son and Emily? It seems those two originally decided to move in with us just to save on living expenses since they already had debts. We don't want to live with people who chose to live with us for that reason. So I'm going to leave them and run away. You've always said that you like a wife who would live with you. But when you find out the reason, you become very harsh. That's what happens when you hide things from me. But you know, I don't think living with you is a problem. Because you can talk honestly with me like now. It's like you saved our lives. And I'll try not to make you feel uncomfortable. And I'll keep that in mind. I'm glad you changed your mind. Then I will be looking forward. Roseanne and Eric came to our house as if they were running away. When they have just moved in, I was cautious because I thought they would be noisy after the first few months. But even after the duplex house was built, 
they did not say a single sarcastic word to me. Since they paid for the renovation, I was worried that they would bring it up and say something about it, but they didn't. On the contrary, they are very considerate of us. Their son and Emily began to have trouble paying off their debts because he lost his parents' pension. So she divorced him as if she was trying to run away, and he was taken somewhere by scary people because of the debt. Therefore, we don't know what is going on to him now. After a while, we had a baby, and my in laws were very happy to have a new grandchild. During the pregnancy, I suffered from morning sickness, but my in laws, as well as my husband, cooperated with the household chores. So I was able to give birth without any unnecessary stress and without any problems. We are now living a happy and carefree life as a family of five, including my in laws. I would like to continue to build a happy family in the future. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.